We know about relationships now. We know about relations. This is when two variables interact. Now, there's a very special kind of relation that we're very, very interested in, and this is called a linear relation. Now, the word linear has the word line in it, right? So a linear relation should make you think of a line. But what exactly is a linear relation? Well, a linear relation is where the dependent variable changes by an amount that is proportional to the change in the independent variable. So what that means is that if your independent variable changes by a certain amount every time, then the dependent variable should change by a certain amount every time that is the same. It's proportional to the change in the independent variable. So let's take a look at an example here. Let's say you're a YouTube star, okay? And YouTube uh, pays you about one cent, so $0.01 per view for this person's video. Is the relationship between the number of views and the total amount this YouTuber gets paid a linear relation? Now, first of all, we have to identify the variables here, right? There's two of them. There's the number of views and how much they get paid. Which one depends on the other? Well, the amount that they get paid depends on how many views they have, right? So we pick the number of views and then we see how much they get paid based on those views. So the independent variable here is the number of views. The dependent variable is the pay, how much this YouTuber gets paid depends on the views. All right, so if I take a look here, for every one view, I go up by one cent. So if I go up another view, I go up another cent. If I go up another view, I go up another cent. So notice that it is proportional. The change in how much this person gets paid is proportional to the change in the number of views. So right off the bat, I know that this is a linear relationship because the change is proportional. Now, some questions are gonna be harder for you to decide whether they're linear or not. So we actually have different ways to figure out if they are linear. First, we can take a look at a table of values. So what we wanna do is we wanna create this table that has the independent variable, which is the number of views, and the dependent variable, which is how much they get paid. So I'm gonna create this little table here. So let's say I have zero views. How much does this person get paid? Well, they're not gonna get any money, they get zero dollars. Now, what if I have one view? That's one cent. Two view, that's two cents, and so on. But I don't like working with small decimals, I find them harder, so instead I'm gonna jump ahead to 100 views. Because for every 100 views, I get paid 100 cents, which is one dollar. Now I'm gonna look at 200 views, that's two dollars. 300 views, that's $3, 400 views, that's $4. Now that I have this table of values, we can see if the relationship is linear by looking at the first differences. Just a reminder, what are first differences? Well, if I look at my independent variable here, these are going up by a constant amount. Every time I'm going up by 100, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to subtract my dependent variables. So one minus zero is one, two minus one is one, three minus two is one, four minus three is one. These numbers here represent my first differences. Remember, differences is just subtraction. That's exactly what we did, right? It's the first time we go and subtract these. So since these first differences are constants, I know that this is indeed a linear relation. Okay, what if instead we have a graph? How can I tell from a graph if a relationship is linear? Well, remember, the word linear has the word line in it. So if our graph turns out to be a straight line, we know that it's going to be linear. So let's go ahead and give this graph a quick sketch. So on my x-axis, on my horizontal axis, I have my independent variable, which is the number of views. In my vertical axis, this is my uh, dependent variable, which is the amount that we get paid. So at zero views, 100 views, 200 views, 300 views, and so on, we get paid $1, $2, and $3, respectively. So now if I connect all of these dots together, use a ruler if you got one, we do get a straight line, meaning that this guy is indeed a linear relation. Finally, we can look at the equation, which is my favorite. So the equation of a linear relation has a degree of one. Well, you might be asking just what is a degree? Are they going to school here? No, not quite. The degree is just the exponent 
of the independent variable, okay? So it's the exponent on the independent variable. So let's try to come up with the equation of this relation. Now, the pay, I know it depends on the number of views. So for every one view I get, I get $0.01. So all I need to do is multiply my 0 0.01 by the number of views I get. That's how I get how much I get paid. So the equation is just gonna be P equals 0 0.01 times V. So the pay is $0.01 times the number of views that I get. So if you look over here, the independent variable is V, and if I look at the exponent on V, well, there's no number there. When there's no number, it means that it's raised to the exponent of one, okay? It's kind of tricky, it's hidden there because we're lazy, we don't want to write it, but if there's no exponent, it doesn't look like a power, the exponent is actually one, meaning that the degree is indeed one. So this is indeed a linear relation. So the answer here, yes, this is a linear relation. Hey guys, my name is Jess, the head of education here at WISE. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you wanna see the complete course, please check out the link in the description. You can also go to one of our playlists to keep learning for free. If you want us to cover a specific course or a specific topic, please leave us a comment below. We post new videos every week, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the new stuff.